welcome back to another vlog. It is your girl, Chikisha, and I am excited to be coming back with another weekly vlog. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. You know it is mad love here. And if this is your first time tuning in, do me a big favor and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. All right, loves, it is Monday. And again, this is another weekly vlog. And I probably should call these more like spending a few days with me than weekly vlogs. But technically, I put them out every week. So they are weekly vlogs, I guess. So anyway, I currently got my camera jimmy rigged because I forgot my car mount in the house. Um and it is what time is it it's like 1 47 so i have a late start to my day um really don't have much going on today um i gotta go to walmart and pick up some more of my ointment for the psoriasis because even though i'm feeling much better um i have some spots that have popped back up can you say in the way so I have a few spots that have popped back up um, and I want to go ahead and try to get them under control. Like, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing because they do say that when you get psoriasis, especially over your body, I don't know why this piece is sticking up. They typically say it's because of something that triggered it whether it be food, drink, stress, something. And I really don't know what it is. Like I was, you know, all the skin and all of the um, dust that was coming off my body had ceased. Um, and so uh, the only place that I had it was on my hands and my feet. My hands are getting better, my feet are getting better. But then Sunday night, was it Sunday night? Yeah, I think it was Sunday night. I just started like in a couple of areas, like it was so uncontrollably itchy. It was so itchy where it was almost like burning. If any of y'all have had psoriasis or ex eczema, y'all know how it is. It's like, what is, it's nothing that an itch or ointment could do. I mean, it was just like, I, and I'm I'm st I'm still itchy everywhere, and I'm trying to catch myself to make sure that that is not habit either, because you can create a habit, you know, once you start doing stuff a lot. But um, I do have areas that constantly itch. At least I think so. I'm trying not to make it be a mind thing. But anyway, I say all I say was I noticed like my lower back and an area of my upper back was just like itching like crazy. It was so unbearable. I put cream on it, nothing would calm it. And I would just have to kind of like sit still and just keep praying to God just for some relief until I fell asleep. And so when I woke up the next morning, I saw some dry patches and a little bit of skin peeling. So I really don't know. And I mean, I go back to the doctor and to the um, dermatologist on the third. So there's no need for me to kind of go in right now, but I've been taking pictures just so I can show her when I do go back, um, because just in case they go away. But I'm on the way to, like I said, the Walmart so I can pick up the ointment so I can spot, you know, put it on those particular spots. But when I say that this thing has been a journey, uh, I can't wait to at least get to a place where I feel like it's ending because right now it's really not ending because it keeps popping up because I really want to kind of share my journey with y'all because it has been one for the books and I feel like this journey is bigger than just the psoriasis part it's about just when life hits you hard how do you deal with it and so through the testimony that God is putting me you know like right now I'm living living the testimony it hasn't came to a point where I have been completely delivered 
that's why I'm not, you know, at a point where I want to put out any content, full content about it, because God has already told me that this is going to help somebody else. You know, sometimes we got to be the ones that go through it to help somebody else, you know, get through their, you know, season of whatever. But anyway, with all that being said, like I said, I don't really have much going on today. I'm going to Walmart going to the bank do i got my wallet oh it's right there i'm using my wallet to <laughs> prop my camera up i'm um, going to the bank uh i need to wash clothes i got a lot of clothes i gotta wash i don't know if i'm gonna wash today and tomorrow um yeah listen this little boy is like five steps away from the trash can he gonna fling it over there he knew it didn't make it now he ended up having to walk over there like why you just didn't walk over there to begin with see we cause more drama for ourselves instead of doing it the right way the first time we always want to do it wrong and then we end up having to go back and backtrack and fix it like he could have just walked all the way over there put in the first time and then he didn't have you know what i'm saying like but that's how we do we self-sabotage ourselves we figure okay this is a shortcut and that shortcut ends up making us have to go back and do it the right way to begin with and that's called obedience do what you're supposed to do right the first time and then it's one and done yeah and y'all i put a hole in my lace but you can't really tell but I think this wig is doing real good. The hubs ask me, because when I'm in the house, like at, once I unwind and take my shower, clean my face, the wig comes off. So I have my ponytail, which is half gray, half brown, half black, half thin, half thick. <laughs> so uh, yesterday the hubs was like, what you doing? What you gonna do with your hair? I'm like, I can't do nothing to it right now. Especially with the medication that I'm taking. You know, I have to monitor because it will possibly, well, could possibly cause um, thinning, numbness of the hands, mouth ulcers, upset stomach. You know, anything that you take has side effects. I took my first dose on Saturday um, and I actually was good. Um, he, the doctor was saying typically the any type of side effects that most people get is like a hangover type of feeling or upset stomach. I was good yesterday, so I pray that I don't have any um, adverse reactions or side effects to the um, medication that I'm taking. But like I said, I mean, I'm still constantly, like I'm itchy. Like right now, I'm itchy. And I'm trying not to scratch. <sighs> if I can get over the itch, yeah. So let's go ahead and put this seatbelt on because like I said, I have this phone Jimmy rigged. So when I pull off, it may fall. Let's see. <laughs> Cause right now I got it, my wallet underneath it. Let's see if it'll hold up. Probably once I go over a bump. Let me stop speaking stuff into existence. Cause my husband always say that when I speak, stuff happens. See? <laughs> So yeah, so the phone has fell and I don't want to hold the phone the whole time. So I will, why wow, is a lot of traffic? I forgot it's holidays, people out of school, people off from work, but yeah, so I'm loving this wig y'all. These cars be coming out of nowhere. So yeah, so let's head to Wally World. All right, all I got from Walmart was some more of the iced lemon sliced loaf. I did pick up the chocolate, but I'm gonna wait to get it once my husband is out of cake because he is a chocolate lover. I love chocolate too, but in moderation. I'm going to try the chocolate ones once he runs out of the cake he made. And then I just stocked up on some more of the vino. I've tried the, um, I forgot the other brand, but I've noticed that 
this works best, um, especially the skin relief line of Aveeno. Um, this does, like when I take my showers, this is so soothing. Um, and then this lotion here is, I just like it better than the, um, the other one that I have. I can't remember, started with a C, it's not CeraVe, but these two have been doing better for me. So these will be what I stick with going forward. All right, this was what I, I was using, Cetaphil. I was using the, originally the cracked skin one and it did good, but, okay, that was my uncle on the phone, but yeah, I was using Cetaphil, the Cetaphil, the one with the cracked skin and that was good, but I thought this would be better. Plus it has shea butter, um, but yeah, and because it says continuously dry and sensitive skin, I mean, it worked, but the Aveeno has done better. This is what I was using at first with Aveeno, the eczema therapy. This was really good. And if this doesn't give me the relief like this one, then I'll go back to the eczema. But the um, body wash does really, really good and it's thick. And for those that were wondering, this is what I've been using that the dermatologist recommended. This works amazing on my scalp, my scalp. Um, it does good on my body, but the tube is so small, I have to be very mindful. And this is my last refill. So I'm just gonna use this sparingly on the areas that have came back and then try to save the rest for my scalp. Hopefully she'll give me another refill of this. All right, y'all, so I'm slowly getting the hang of this machine so i'm about to leave out the house so i'm gonna do a to-go cup and i bought me some starbucks pods so this is the pike place and this is the is this a double shot no, this is just a single shot of espresso. So I am going to combine these two together. And then I've been really liking the condensed milk. And I was watching one of my favorite coffee YouTubers and she had used this. And I was like, this is perfect. That way I don't have to worry about the can. Cause tip normally I buy this in the can and have to put it in a container. So this way I can just you know, unscrew this and because I like to use this as a sweetener sometimes. And I want to see if they have it in the oat milk. Um, a, uh, a girl that I follow on Instagram that does Instagram stories, she said that she has the condensed oat milk. So I'll be interested in seeing that because I want to try to get away from any type of whole milk because this could be a trigger as well to um, eczema dairy and stuff like that so that's why i've been trying to cut back on my cheese as well um but i'm gonna use this as my sweetener and then i still have some pumpkin spice latte because i'm out of my caramel so we're gonna see how this concoction turns out and i'm not gonna froth it i'm just gonna pour it straight in the cup um after i do my pods my capsules <laughs>
happy Tuesday. So sorry to um, close out yesterday's vlog. Um, what did happen yesterday? So after I came home, um, I ended up. Oh, I ended up going to my mom's house. My mom and my stepfather just moved into their new place, and that's where I'm actually heading now. Mom needs me to help her decorate, but I don't know why, because my mom is the master decorator. Like every home that they've lived in, my mom has had it decorated. I think what she wants me to do is to help her minimize because my mom will overdo it though sometimes like it'll look good but she'll have a whole lot of stuff like trinkets and stuff like that so i think that's what she want to help me to do so me and the hubs went over there yesterday um because we had to go to the old house and pick up a couple of things that she said that was my stuff that was left and i think i had like it was mostly like photos and uh my one of my larger suitcases but anyway so it's a no eyebrow kind of day but wigs are my life right now because listen the gray now i will say the thinning is coming back in from the hair that i lost from when i had so much psoriasis build up on my scalp so my edges are coming back in um, but I'm just loving the convenience of a wig. I'm loving the, I'm trying to think, how can I get to my mom in the house without having to pay a whole bunch of toes? Hmm. I'll just pay the toes going this way. And then I will probably just take the scenic route back home. Sorry. I feel like I should have just took the scenic route. Alright, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off on Jank Road. Alright, so anyway, I'm sorry. I had to figure it out because where my mom and them have moved to, it's like not um, a highway exit is not close by to them it's kind of like they're in the heart of uh like the city somewhat and i don't want to pay all these tolls then to still kind of have to loop back around but anyway hold on let me get my internal gps straight and then i'll be right back all right i'm back i'm just going to take jake Rose, so i should only have to pay the one toll so anyway so me and the hubs went over there we had to go to the old house because my mom said i had some stuff that was in the attic in which a lot of it was like old pictures of me and my ex and stuff so i just threw them away um <laughs> and i just kept the pictures of like the kids when they were babies and stuff because like i'm very sentimental i like to keep photos you know what i'm saying because you know it'll we'll all get to a time in our life where we're just like oh man i remember this and i remember that you know what i'm saying and that's one of the things that on my mom's side me my stepfather and my niece and my nephews like we always will pull out a photo album we probably looked at them a thousand times but it's just looking at them and just reflecting on the good times when life was simple you know what i'm saying like a lot of times we just get so caught up in you know the things that we wish we could have changed in the past that we forget that we've actually had some good times in the past so anyway so sorry to say i had to go get my pictures in my suitcase and then um my husband was trying to fix something for them so i kind of was in the house and helping my mom get stuff straight and And so I was telling her because we decided we're just gonna get a brand new washer and dryer at our, um, where we live at, because it don't make sense paying 
them $40 a month just to use their wash and dryer. Like we've been living there for five years and we've never had to pay for the wash and dryer. It was a part of the amenities, now they're charging. So we decided to just go ahead and get our own. Uh, we'll probably do that at the top of the year. So they do have a facility there that we use, but mom, and that was her way of getting me there. She was like, well, you can wash and dry your clothes here and help me. So I'm gonna do that. Plus, um, you know, that'll be my way of giving some quality time because mom would be all wars me. Don't, you don't be coming over here, blah, blah, blah. But like, I legit was living like 30 minutes away from where they were at first. And when I'm off, I be having so much other stuff to do. Not saying that going to see my mom isn't a priority, but just to go over there just to hear her fuss, cause that's what she do. Oh, my ice and melted. I'm over here eating lemon loaf cake. So, that's what I'm about to do. That's probably all I'm gonna do today. I'll probably film you know me helping her out the place where they moved is absolutely gorgeous i love it um my ice and all on my tissue but anyway so i'll probably record a little bit while i'm there um i do gotta go to the post office and drop off this package I need to go to the grocery store, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. And I don't know why this, I got out this car's way because I was going the speed limit. And then he got back behind me like, I'm in the speed limit lane. You need to take that up with this car that ain't going the speed limit. But I ain't gonna talk your head off, plus the sun is sunning. And I got like this glare right now. And I want to enjoy my lemon cake. And y'all, uh, I didn't get to price it, but I'm going to um, tell y'all the difference in the price of buy one slice of Starbucks loaf cake, loaf, loaf cake versus buying a container. I think it's maybe about like 10 slices for $4.88 at Walmart in the bakery aisle. Well, not aisle, but the section where the um, bakery items are. I was kind of upset they didn't have banana nut bread. Dang. <sighs> I tell you. Anyway, so yeah, let me go focus on this road. And I will see y'all in a little bit. at my mom's and my parents house for a while that's my bonus dad aka my other dad pa say hi <laughs> and this is my mom walking right here boston i'm tired and they're babysitting i would put them on camera but i don't have their parents permission so i'm not gonna do it but we got the two sisters in the house Say hey. <laughs> Y'all heard her. So I've been helping kind of set stuff up. Let me show you what I've been working on. So I kind of helped her fix this little section here. Little wild kingdom. And then we put these suns up. 
This is my, you know, old people got separate rooms. This is my mom's room. This is actually my old bedroom set from when I used to live there in the old house with them. Look, they balling with the big TVs. They got two bathrooms. So all this stuff will be out the way. They just doing their designs. This is my bonus dad's bathroom. They balling. This is his room. This chair was Mama Ola's chair. This is a throw back. He in here trying to make his TV work. So, yeah, so... I like these curtains, Paul. It, well, it was hard to tell because this is a bigger window. I put them together. I like it. So, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. This is a nice little spot. So now I'm over here. Get out my bag. Oh, she's trying to move my bag so she can get climbed. So, so when farting in this room, it's not me. It's who's not me. farting? I don't know. It's so loud. Oh, no. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this TV. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay, now Miss Gemini over there should be happy for at least for at least five minutes. No, now let me try the DVD. Who said I done put my work in? My wig crooked. Hey, love. So I am back home. I'm all showered. Wig is off. Got all my medication on my body. <laughs> um, and I am cooking. The hub's new favorite in this house is shrimp fried rice. So that's what you hear popping in the background, the shrimp. Um, it's pretty much done. I just need to do the rice. I mean, we'll like add the seasoning. And I use this. This is clutch. Makes it super easy. All I have to do is add oil, eggs, and um, soy sauce. So that's all I have to do to the rice now because the rice is already cooked in the pan. Um, but yeah, so I'm debating if I'm going to end the vlog here, um, cause I actually have like some Christmas shopping I need to do and I don't know if I'm gonna go to the mall tomorrow when I get off or not, it just depends, but, um, if I do end the vlog here, you will know that is ending. Um, if not, I will continue it. Um, this is the last few days before Christmas. And I'm thinking for Christmas dinner, I want to do chili and cornbread with rice. Like do a whole like corn, jalapenos and all that stuff. Like the hubs, he's gonna put it on a sausage. So I'm gonna ask him what he thinks about that. And I think that's what I want to do because I really want some chili. But that means I have to make his chili and my chili because I love beans. He doesn't. Um, so, and it's Christmas, so I don't mind doing all the things. So, 
that'll be stuff that I have to shop for too. So I, don't, I might extend the vlog through the whole week since it is the um, holiday season. Um, so I really didn't do much. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish this food and I will catch y'all later. Um, and I know I talked about my lashes and I always use them over time because they are so long. But I Good morning, loves, and happy Wednesday. Yes, yeah, so I decided to continue along with the vlog. I have to make a post office run before I go to work. So I need to, let me stop, because I broke my thumbnail <sighs> the other day. I actually need a new set. But anyway, so it is super cold today. It is 26 degrees. I don't know why they make these tape things so hard to get into. But anyway, I need to stop at the post office and drop off some items that were purchased for the D stash. I was supposed to do it yesterday. But I ended up being at my mom's house pretty much for the majority of the day. Every time I finished a project, she was like, oh, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. So I have a steady day today, not busy. Holidays for hairstylists is hit or miss um, because everybody is spending all the money trying to get all the gifts. Sometimes as a hairstylist, You either gonna make bank or you just gonna, you know, whatever. So, here we go. This was an epic fail. But anyway, so I've had a few cancellations, some due to medical emergencies, some due to, you know, people's personal matters. So, I can't get this tape. This tape is cheap. So yeah, so I'll try to get this box taped up so I can get it shipped out because listen. And I hate littering, but so yeah, so today is a steady day. I have a full day, um, but because of a couple of cancellations, I was able to move some appointments up. So I'll probably get out a little bit earlier than expected. And with that being said, maybe I'll be able to stop at one store that I need to see if they have something that I'm looking for. Jeez Louise. Always keep a few of my Amazon boxes just because you never know when you're gonna need them. And this is one of the new cases. I actually have another package I gotta send out tomorrow. But she had texted me this morning and I didn't I was leaving preparing for work so Did him go. So let me get up out of here and I will see y'all later on. And this is an early Christmas gift that my husband gave me because he said he got tired of me wearing that other coat. <laughs> he got me a Michael Kors puffer jacket and I love it. And if I can find the link for it, I will. But it has the fur around the hood with the faux fur. And I can take it off. It's detachable. It has a zipper on there. I can take it off or keep it on. And then also it has the little thumb holders for if you want to, you know, put your hands in there to keep them a little bit warmer. 
and it has a black belt with like a black metal Michael Kors um, what did they call it their logo but like I said if I can find it I will link it but this joint is nice and warm like I said it's 26 degrees so your girl is enjoying this puffer coat um what does it say I have my wig on but I wanted to wear a hat today just because I'm, I think I'm gonna wash this wig probably over the weekend because it's just too oily I mean even though a lot of the oil came out of it but I you know just like but I mean even like with your wigs just like your real hair you want to maintenance them you want to wash them you don't have to wash them as frequently as you would wash your hair I know some people wash their wigs once a month um, and I think I've had this wig for like about three weeks. I've been waiting for three weeks, maybe. If not three weeks, two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. That way it'll be how I want it. Um, I do wanna do a photo shoot. And when I say photo shoot, I'm gonna be doing it myself. <laughs> um, I did a photo shoot for my birthday one year and a lot of people like, oh, who did your pictures? I did it myself. All I did was took a white sheet, <laughs> hung it up on my wall and just took them. And then that way I can remove the background and stuff like that. But I want to take a couple of pictures because um, one, I want to take someone for my birthday. So when my birthday comes, it's actually 29 days until my birthday. And I didn't even post a birthday count. I didn't do that today. Birthday countdown. So, um, so yeah. Um, what was I say? See, I want to do some photos and then just to um, just have some different photos because I'm about to be 49, so I want to take some pictures to represent last year, my 40s. Um, and I am still, I am still using my carrot. Judge your eyebrows, not me, okay? So this is the Pete's Coffee. This is from my advent calendar. And I've always wanted to try Pete's Coffee because I've seen like influencers post that they have like a Pete's in their area or whatever. And so when I saw that they had a Pete's um, Keurig pod in my advent calendar, I was like, I can't wait to taste it. And I think the Pete's was actually day 19 but what I've been doing is, especially like if it's coffees that I really don't like, or I don't know, like for my Keurig, I like Colombian coffees, uh, espresso style coffee. But I like stronger coffees in my Keurig. And I guess that's why I love my Keurig so much because I, I don't really do anything light in there. But let's go ahead and taste this. I did put some pumpkin spice latte in here. Um, non-dairy creamer by Starbucks because I'm out of my caramel macchiato. Um, but let's go to take it. Mmm, tastes really good. That's a good pod. Um, so yeah, so I've been still playing around with the Nespresso. I think what I'm going to ultimately have to do is just get some other flavors in the capsules that's been recommended but i probably won't do that until after christmas because i gotta you know get through the end of this year like i said i mean business has been up and down and that's you know normally how it is i mean the end of the week i'm gonna be pretty busy but yeah praying for my health and strength because i can't miss no days
done early with work. Um, I had a cancellation which um, allowed me to be able to bump my three o'clock, was a mother and daughter, um, to bump my three o'clock up to two o'clock. So I'm out there an hour early. I would have been out around six. Um, and which is good because I am able to make a couple of stops. Um, I do need to go to the grocery store. I think I want to go to Kroger. I haven't been to Kroger in a while. Um, and I like Kroger. Um, yeah. And But I'm going to stop at the mall first. As you can see, I took my hat off. One, because that hat doesn't allow me to put my glasses on and I do need my glasses. I'm supposed to wear my glasses all the time, first of all. But during the day, I can see well enough. And I know that's probably like, well enough? That is dangerous. No, I can see well enough. Like, I'm not, I'm nearsighted. So that means I can't see far away. Um, so during the day, I don't have to wear them. But at night, I have to because one, I can't like see what street signs say and then two because the lights be so blinding and I do have astigmatism so I need to have that protection in my lenses to keep from having that light just sitting in my eyes um and then also just so I can see like I need my glasses 100% at night during the day not less raining or it's a super overcast cloudy day I might wear my glasses but for the most part, I can go without. But anyway, like I said, I am going to the mall first. I kind of want to stop at Starbucks. I don't know if I want to get a coffee or a medicine ball. And the reason why I said I want to get a medicine ball because I messed up yesterday. So y'all saw I was at my mom's house and I was there all day pretty much all late afternoon to the late parts of the evening and every time I finished the project my mom found something else for me to do and then she wanted me to put this carpet outside um underneath her well I suggested it but I was like thought she would do it but she wanted to take advantage of me being there so and I let her because I don't go around a lot and before you judge me judge your own relationship I went ahead and spent the whole day over there and um, did the stuff. And then, so I made a suggestion about the carpet. So she's like, you go ahead and do it. So I had on socks, but I went outside barefoot with no shoes on, just my thin socks. Because I like to, when I'm in the house, just lounging. If I don't have slippers, I like to have some socks on. And so my feet was cold and I was like, uh why you do that like as soon as I stepped outside and I felt the coldness on my feet I was like Keisha why you do that you gonna have wet puppy dog nose and when I went what I mean by wet puppy dog nose my nose be cold and it be running I don't know why, what it is like I know my body and I know the triggers when it comes to my sinuses and stuff like that so anyway I'm debating if I want to get a medicine ball or I can just get some lemonade and make and some honey and make one at home because I do have the tea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, question: the sugar cookie almond milk latte. Can I get that hot? Hold on. Usually, yes, but we're out of our sugar cookie syrup today. Uh, do y'all have any the creme, uh, caramel brulee stuff? Alright, just give me a grande um, caramel brulee latte, extra hot. And do you have any chocolate croissants? Yes, please. That's it. All right, thank you. Oh, see, 
have my time. I want to try something new. They don't have it. So maybe I will. I don't know. Because I want to use my points to get it. So just in case I don't like it. I won't feel like it was a waste of money. Um, so yeah, it's starting to get a little bit dark. So you probably really can't see me. Um, but I will tell you. So my holiday drinks that I always get during the Christmas season is the caramel brulee and the chestnut praline. Those are the only two that I ever go back and forth in between. Um, tag it. And I meant to tell them with almond milk. I got so distracted, man. Oh, Fudge sickle. Anyway, so, yeah, so... It's still gonna be good because even before I was doing almond and oat milk and all that stuff, I was doing my coffees however they came. Um, so I'll be fine. Uh, plus, I'll be trying to be mindful of my dairy intake with this. Um, um, psoriasis because it is considered an autoimmune, and some of the things that they say to stay away from is like dairy so but I don't drink dairy that much and I've cut back on my cheese tremendously oh lord lord thank you for this food I have received the rest I'm about to receive nourishment on my body and Jesus name I pray amen but yeah um so I've been doing real good on that I said the first of the year I'm gonna try to kind of see the foods and things that are good to avoid um because next year is my last year in my 40s so I want to go into my 50s as healthy as possible you know because there's always things that you know come up but anyway so back to the coffees so yeah, so during the holidays, I normally only get the chestnut praline or the um, caramel brulee. And because the enters of the net and all the girls on YouTube, social media, they be talking about the sugar cookie, sugar cookie, sugar cookie. And then because I found the syrup that they use, I need to see which coffee they use because I think, what one do I have? I think I have Pike Place capsules at home. So I'm gonna see what coffee blend they use and then I'll just get the capsule to match that. Um, because normally when I was using my Carrick, when I would make Starbucks dupes, I would get the Carrick pods that Starbucks the, you know the flavor that Starbucks use but now that I'm trying to do more of my fancier drinks on my Nespresso I want to get the right pods I still want to order I don't know I might order after Christmas I just want to get through this week before I order anything else because I still want to set up my coffee station. I want to get some glass syrup holders to put my syrups in. Because I do still want to keep syrups in the kitchen where my carrot is because I do still drink my carrot. I love my carrot. I'll probably never get rid of it just because of the convenience and it's so fast. So yeah these if y'all never had the chocolate croissant you're missing out especially if you're a chocolate lover and you love croissants let me go
Okay, y'all, I'm back home. I wiped down my groceries and I'm watching I Am Sharika B's latest vlog. Um, but let me show you what I got. So this was what I got from Food Line. I got this for the medicine ball, but I kept saying I should have got the Simply Made orange, um, lemonade, but it's going to do what it's going to do. Got some honey, house Audrey chicken flour, in which when I get got home, the hubs had just got some. But we run through this, so it is what it is. And then because I want to make the sugar cookie um, or the sugar butter cookie syrup, um, I got some pure almond extract, pure vanilla extract, and some butter extract. And then our go-to chicken that we get because it is bone and skinless and it is all chicken breast. Sometimes you get the chicken breast and it's like got rib meat and my husband does not like the rib meat. So this is what we get. And then from Kroger, I got some pepper and then to come home to see he got pepper, but he likes the fine pepper. I like the coarse ground pepper. So it is what it is. Um, I got some cream cheese um, because I don't want to keep eating my loaf cakes for my on the go breakfast when I'm on the way to work. And I do like doing the smaller bagels. So I got the Thomas mini bagels. And then I got our favorite seasoning, kicking chicken. And then I got this creamer right here. One of my subscribers, um, she was, um, we were kind of chatting back and forth through the comments. And I think her name is Tierra Chabon. I probably jacked her last name up, but it's Tiara. I asked her what creamer or what milk she used when she did her Nespresso drinks. And I don't know why this is looking yellow. She said she does the Planet Oat Milk Extra Creamy. So I'm going to try this, um, which means that I definitely have to have syrups if I want to make my milk flavorful. Hopefully this will froth as well. I didn't ask her if this frothed really well. But we'll test it out and see. Um, and for those of you that have allergies, just in case you want to try it, it is free from dairy, peanuts, zoom in camera, peanuts, gluten, and soy. And I like that because I told y'all earlier I was trying to stay away from dairy, in which this cream cheese is dairy. It's fresh milk and real cream but again this is one of the few and far between um things that i will use i try to eliminate dairy on the things that i have all the time i do coffee every day so eliminate the dairy in the coffee when i do my random bagels it's not gonna hurt me um at least i hope not <laughs> so anyway so this is my haul from kroger and this is my haul from food line and I will show you how I make the medicine ball. I'll probably just do um, V-roll with some music on top of it. And then I'll put the directions in the description box. But most of the recipes that I found online is actually the Simply Made. Or was it Simply Something um, Lemonade? And I just, you know, I saw it say real lemons, 100% natural flavors. I was like, I was good. But I think what it is is... The other one is sugar-free. I don't know, but I'll show you how I make it. And then if you want to get the right one. And also, I forgot fresh lemons in which, listen, it's a dupe. It's not the exact recipe. So from Starbucks, dupes always have some type of variation that is different from the actual true recipe. So we're going to do it the Life with Chakisha way. So if you want to see how I make my medicine ball, stick around.
Thursday. So it is cold and rainy and I have to <laughs> go to the bank because for some reason PayPal keeps taking money out of my business account and it ain't supposed to do that. So I need to make sure I figure out what's going on with that. Um, so I'm going over to my bank so I can make sure that everything that has to go through clears that way I don't have to worry about anything until next week um, it is super cold it's like 44 degrees but it's colder because there's no sun out and it's raining and I'm so cold um, I have a break my next client isn't until 2 30 so I'm gonna get me some broccoli and cheddar soup from Panera Bread um, Y'all, my son, this is killing me. Me and my husband have this battle between heat and no heat. Like, I love the heat. Plus, I'm cold nature, but he doesn't like the heat because it dries him out. And what happens is when the heat, when his heat, his nose get dry, then he be all snotty. Then when he be flipping it back and forth, then it mess with mine. So it's like, uh, like I did not have time for this. So yeah, so that's that. So I'm about to go get me and coax some broccoli and cheddar soup from Panera after I make this deposit at the bank. Normally, if I didn't have to go to the bank, I would have ordered it for delivery and took a nap because I really, really need a nap. I'm so tired. This rain is making me so tired. So I'm about to put the heat on because it's cold. Thank God for my husband for getting me this new coat because it is clutch. Listen, and I didn't have an umbrella on so the rain kind of beats up on it. So it, I'm assuming it's weatherproof because the water did not soak through so that's a great thing um and so it's, whatever day i wore this jacket i showed a picture of it um hopefully i showed a picture of it um and if i can find the link again anything that i mentioned i try to link down in the description box um yeah so let me go because the order said it'd be ready by two and it's now 144 <laughs> So yeah, I need a good nap. Like, I really feel like I want to go home and go to sleep. I think I might tell the hubs to go to the store and get some chicken noodle soup. So we can make semi homemade chicken noodle soup. I want to go to Sam's because I want to get them pineapples and then I want to get some more waters, but I probably wait until maybe Saturday when I get off. We'll see. All right, you guys, I will see you when I get back to the shop. Okay, y'all, it is 7-Eleven. I'm just getting off from work and I'm at Starbucks again <laughs> because I am determined to try this sugar cookie almond milk latte. I'm gonna get it hot. I want to taste it because I am going to make my own syrup. I found a recipe on YouTube um, that one of my favorite coffee YouTubers created, super easy. Um, vanilla extract, almond extract, butter extract, water and sugar. Um, brown sugar, I believe. So I wanna be able to taste compare. So we're about to see, I'm about to place my order. Y'all pray for me. Yes, do y'all have um, the Ice sugar cookie latte? Huh? The ice sugar cookie almond latte? Um, can I get a grande, but can I get a hot? I want it hot. Um, and a chocolate croissant heated up. Chocolate croissant, heat it up. That's it. Thank you. I'm 
using my points today. All right, chaps. I got my um, sugar cookie almond latte hot. I have my car light on so you can see me. So let's do a taste test. I didn't get it extra hot. Normally I only get my coffees extra hot is if I'm getting it in the mornings. Um, that way it can last me longer. So typically in the evenings, if I do get one after work, I don't get it hot. I mean extra hot because I normally try to drink it fast. Uh, let me get out of this intersection. All right, let's taste my light on. Very light. Um, it's very light. It doesn't taste like anything. I mean, like, I'm looking for more of a sugar cookie taste. Maybe the little sprinkles on top is what gives it the cookie taste. Because I probably won't put sprinkles on mine at home. I might use a little bit of cinnamon, like um, brown sugar cinnamon mix on the top. I don't know. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. I think when I make mine, I might try to make it a little more. Like, I'm looking for it to be more sweet. I mean, I know sugar cookies aren't sweet, but they taste like sugar cookies. I don't know. Maybe it tastes better cold. If you've had the sugar cookie almond milk latte, let me know if you had a hot or cold and what you think. I think this is a good coffee if you don't want anything bold. Um, like for your non-coffee drinkers. And you want the, I think they would like this. But because it's seasonal, it's kind of like why even tease them with it because it'll be gone. And this is why I use my points. Because I won't go use my money and then didn't like it. So I use my points. So I'm headed home. Um, don't really know what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Not sure if I'm gonna film when I get home either. Um, I might film a little bit in the salon. Um, but I think tomorrow I will probably end the vlog. I think I might do a Christmas video, um, vlog. Even though we don't do much, but and I need to run about him. I keep saying this is what I want to do. I want to do a chili bar for Christmas. Because it's just going to be me and the hubs. And he eat his chili with no beans. And then he like to put his on top of a sausage in a bun. But me, I like mine with beans. I like to serve my chili over rice and I want to put some like corn and jalapenos and cheese and sour cream on it. So I think that's what I might do. So I will end the vlog tomorrow so I can edit and try to have it uploaded by Christmas day. And then I'm going to do a Christmas vlog. That'll be like a bonus vlog since I didn't get to do vlogmas. I need to find out another croissant to use because the Pillsbury croissants didn't work. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, loves, it is Friday, the eve of Christmas Eve, and I didn't do any vlogging today, so I just wanted to come on to just end this whole week's vlog. Um, really wasn't much to do about nothing, but 
it was just me sharing my world <clears throat> so anyway so i am going to like i said in the vlog here i am going to do a christmas day vlog um christmas day celebrations in the sims household look a different than maybe your household but it's our christmas time so i think um, my total hubs i think what i want to do is a um chili bar so i will it will probably be like a salad vlog with music um just kind of showing you me making my chili um i think i want to try an espresso martini um i don't know if i want to put vodka in it i think i just want to use the um gingerbread latte that i have because that does have um a abv or alcohol content of 10 percent so for alcohol sake um that does have some alcohol and then i'll probably use one of my starbucks espresso pods because those are the only espresso pods that i have right now um and then just you know whatever else goes on in our house i was supposed to be receiving a table today um that a company reached out to me um and asked me to review um I do have to assemble it so if it happens to arrive I may include that in the video if not it'll definitely be in next week's weekly vlog because it looks like it's a really nice table um, and you know we don't uh, we don't have a coffee table so it'll work out fine but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and go because I just got these pineapples ooh, ooh, I just got these pineapples and I'm excited about trying them. So, and I will be posting a reel. So, my lips is chapped. But if you want to see about my pineapple review, make sure you follow me over at Instagram at Life with Chakisha. And follow, follow me on all of my platforms Pinterest, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Everything is Life with Chakisha. And that's about it so if you enjoyed this week's vlog make sure you give me a big old thumbs up click that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll never miss <laughs> any of my videos so until next time loves peace